Good evening. You're watching Outside the Box. This is a show where you can pose some tough questions to those vying for your vote this September. As earlier mentioned, all registered parties have been invited to be part of this show. Those that have so far accepted have featured on the show. To our daily poll now, yesterday's question was, should the current retirement age of 55 years be revised? 68.91% voted in the affirmative, while 22.99% voted no. Today's question is, should the minimum wage be revised? Text your answer a simple yes or no to 3592. The poll is open to Vodafone, Digicel and Inc. users. Charges apply. Joining us tonight on the show is seasoned politician Dr. Dupen Mbamba, and certainly no stranger to politics. With political experience spanning three decades, Dr. Mbamba feels he still has a lot more to give to Fiji. Bula, sir, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mika. Now, Dr. Mbamba, <coughs> you are one of the old faces that Marama has been referring to, right? Yes. Now, what makes you keep coming back to politics? Do you think you still have a cut? Do you think the country still needs you? I believe the country needs some of us at the moment, particularly to, uh, to train the young ones to go through these very difficult times. I've been through a number of coups and I've come through them fairly well. And um, I've gone round of circle. I've been with the Labour Party and now I'm with the Sudalpa Party. Mm. I think I have a contribution both sides of politics. Mm. Do you think um, your young voters out there who will be voting for the first time, uh, particularly the 18-year-olds, do you think they will need you to uh, shape their future? I think they will certainly like to listen to me. Uh, I'm not imposing my vote my voices, my, my views on them, but I think uh, they might hear something interesting, particularly in the difficult times they're in now. Right. Now, so Delpo's economic policy to allocate $50 million annually to subsidize the prices of uh, approved list of vet-free basic food items. Do you agree this may not be practical? Uh, I think it is practical. Um, some say that it is not practical. Uh, the the approach by some other parties to down with to cut down the, the VAT uh, is equally uh, difficult because you're cutting the sources of your revenue. Mm. But uh, with cutting with giving 50 million right away uh, as a subsidy for the basic food items, we are not really cutting down the basis of our tax, our our, uh, our receipts. But it's not it's not immediate. It'll, it'll take some time to implement. Uh, yeah, as soon as we can, uh, we'll implement it as long as it's wanted. Mm. That's the, the bottom line. And I think it'll be below that rather than merely reducing it from 13 to 10 percent. Right. On economic growth, the current government uh, is saying the country is set to grow by 3.8 percent. Your party is saying otherwise. We're saying otherwise. The average over the last uh, few years from 2007 to now 2014 has been 1.1 percent. Uh, it's this is despite support from the Reserve Bank and the Finance Ministry? Yeah, of course. Uh, the, the, the data that we have is the, da the data from the government. We look at them and the data from the IMF. Uh, of course, the, the Reserve Bank will also favor Mbani Marama's uh, statements. Of course, they are appointed by him. Yeah. We're in a dictatorship. There's a call on the line. Uh, good evening to you. Yeah, good evening, Dr. Mamba. Um, yeah, my question to you, do you think the youth of Fiji can make liberated views or are they influenced by their parents and friends? Did you get the question? Do you think I, 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 I didn't hear the question too well. Can you speak up a bit, please? Repeat the question, please. Uh, yes, I think the yes, question yes, is, can the youth of Fiji I'm liberate the country? I think they have a role in, in the liberation of this country, and I would like to encourage them to take up that role. Mm. Right. Yes. Now, so, so Delpa is against the idea of equal citizenry and common name. Now, why? Other um, parties are agreeing to it, but so Delpa seems not to be agreeing to it. We cannot understand what Mbani um, Marama is saying about equal citizenry. When you have a look at this constitution of 213, you will see a provision for, for those who have committed a crime, like, like him. He take, he took over the government of the people, and then he's protected. Uh, secondly, there are other people who also who are trying to claim compensation from him for taking over the country, for the people that have died who are their relations. They are not allowed even to be given that opportunity. And thirdly, for the indigenous Fijians who do not like their land to go into the land bank, 
who want to complain, they are not even allowed to have access to the courts. Mm. So what is this equal citizenry? Now you have a number of people that have uh, been protected and others are denied the rights to uh, protection of the law. Where is the equal citizenry? Dr. Mambo, this has been a, a text message from one of the viewers. Your, your party mascot, if I may call it, Mr. Lesson Nangarashi, has yes. been uh, accused of making racist comments. Um, what do you think of that? And have you uh, tried to sit down with him and, and talk to him uh, over this? Mr. Ngarese is uh, not in Fiji at the moment, but none of these uh, journalists, none of these media people have even quoted what Mr. Ngarese said. He has never said anything against Christian state or about Christian state as been alleged. He has made a number of statements about, of course, about, about the, uh, the circular state. Um, the, uh, and I believe in what he said. If you want to have a secular state, then uh, you are not paying attention to the religious values, which are of importance to Sudalpa, which are important to all the people of Fiji. In the 1997 constitution, we respect the values and principles of various religions, and we do so now. So Delpo's international policy is it wants to fully, fully restore relationship with Australia, New Zealand, the USA, yeah. the UK. Um, Fiji has, has, has uh, uh, you know, joined up with Commonwealth again. Um, yes, we want to do that. We want to restore that traditional relationship with people that we trade with, that with people we have diplomatic relations with. And I cannot understand the policy of the current government by dealing with all sorts of people who have not been part of Fiji's traditional relationship. Well, don't, you th don't, you, don't you think uh, developments that are taking place in the country are, are a result of that? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure about the role of Russia here. I'm not sure about the role of those middle uh, Arab states that are coming, they have signed some treaties with us. <clears throat> but I, I, I do understand the, the role of the Commonwealth, the role of Australia, New Zealand and India, who have had relationship for so long. Those are the kind of countries that we need to continue our relations with. Dr. Bamba, if you lose these elections, uh, will you um, uh, come back to politics in five years' time? I, that, that is a question that I'll have to answer at the time. But uh, the idea of losing is not in my mind at the moment. So you're the, confident people will vote for we you? We are confident that Sadapa will be part of the government. And you'll be part of that government? And I will be part of that government. The Fiji First will not be part of that government. Thank you, Dr. Mamba. Thank Stay you. with us. Uh, up next is Kina Mariwai from the Fiji Labour Party. <music> Welcome back. Join the discussion live tonight by texting in your questions to 3599 or call our studio line 3300 And remember, you can have your say in our daily poll. The question is still, should the current retirement age of 55 years be revised? Simply text yes or no. 3592 to all Vodafone Digital and Ink users. Now we are joined by Kini Marawai, the Assistant General Secretary of the Fiji Labour Party. Mr. Kini Marawai, welcome to the show. Now, in your own manifesto, you, you're talking about interference and manipulation of judiciary, the Legal Services Commission to be independent. Why? Uh, I think, you know, with uh, regards to that, uh, you look in terms of the Constitution. I think it's very clear over there that uh, while uh, the, uh, this uh, constitution tries to uh, inculcate in its uh, substance uh, the independence of the judiciary, but when you look in terms of the mechanics of it, uh, uh, it calls uh, to mind a lot of uh, questions and answers. For example, uh, in, uh, the appointment of uh, judges and magistrates, judges up to the age of 75, and uh, magistrate up to the age of uh, 70. But there's another provision over there for those uh, foreign judges and uh, foreign magistrate, uh, notwithstanding that uh, they can be magistrate and judge up to the age of uh, 70 and 75 respectively. Their contract has to be renewed every three years. Mm. See, that uh, puts a kind of valve in which the government of the day could just uh, terminate uh, their contract you know, if uh, they are not satisfied with their performance. What, what do you think of your suspension from uh, by the Ind Independent uh, Legal Service Commission? Uh, I think uh, that is still before the courts and I don't want to make any prejudgment mm -hmm. for that would uh, perhaps you know, uh, lead to some kind of contempt. As it is, uh, uh, my case comes up again for appeal at the Fiji Court of Appeal tomorrow morning. Oh, okay, that's good. 
Now, <clears throat> your party is saying there's been a high influx of foreign workers taking over local jobs. Do well, you have proof of this? Well, you just have to look into the scenery here, you know. Housing authorities see a lot of uh, uh, Chinese aid being given to road works, etc. And then uh, you see a lot of uh, uh, foreign workers. Mm. I'm not uh, trying to denigrate those workers, they're working, but uh, my concern is with regards to the local population. We've got a lot of people that are highly qualified to do the jobs that has been in which they have now been displaced by foreign workers. Your, 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 your uh, manifesto is also saying it uh, recognizes TLTB's right to issue leases, make decisions on protection and development, management of native leases. Does this mean that your party doesn't directly say here, um, does have reservations about uh, uh, government's initiative of the land bank? Well, the Fiji Labour Party does have issue and a lot of reservations with regards to the land bank. If you look at it, we think that the TLTB has been doing a good job. Uh, we don't understand why the, this government is trying to misinform the public saying that the native uh, land is uh, safe and sound in terms of, and the Banaban land and the Rutuman land in terms of section 27, 28, 29 of the constitution. But having said that, when you look in terms of the uh, Land use decree of July 2010, in which section 6.1 and 6.2 stipulates that the discretionary power of the lease of the land, the utilization of the land, or the termination of the, of the land, belongs to the Prime Minister alone. Okay. And having said that, and in terms of the land bank, which is section 8, it talks about the land use unit in the Ministry of Land that is going to control all this, uh, this land. And then it brings uh, to redundancy the effectivity and the, and, and the work of the TLTB. Mr. Marawai, uh, David from Suwe is on the line. Uh, David Mbola Vinaka? Yeah, Mbola Vinaka. I want to ask one question to Mr. Marawai on party leadership. Mr. Marawai, uh, in your party, is power vested in the team or is it vested in only one or two people on the top and is translated into policies by the will? Thank you. Asking about uh, party leadership, there's been so much uh, uh, questions about it. What do you think? I think, you know, with regards to the question of party leadership, uh, you know, while we acknowledge that the people are showing some kind of concerns, I think at the end of the day, why don't we just let the party decide on the party leadership? Uh, we are not going to try to you know, interfere with other people's party and you know, for them to decide what we do. We have a manifesto. We have our system of uh, uh, and mechanics and methodology of party leadership elections, and we are going to remain uh, on that level. A final, final question: uh, Why why FLP is going to a coalition with uh, Sudelpa? We are not in a coalition with Sudelpa. I think that is a, a misconception by a lot of people. We are saying that should we be p be part of. Uh, the major um, uh, part of the major numbers of those candidates that would make up uh, win the election, we then will look into a coalition after, not before the election. In an old face in policies, do you think uh, you will make a comeback to parliament after the elections? Uh, well, let, uh, let the people decide. All I right. think that's best. Thank you. Thank you. In our final segment, we speak to the uh, I think Jagath Kauratne from the Freedom and Justice Party. Thank you. Welcome back. Remember, you can join the discussion live by texting in your questions to 3599 or call our studio line 3302100. Now, we welcome. Jagath Karuna Ratne, a, na a name many are not familiar with, but is hoping to change that with the freedom, with the free, with the Fiji United Freedom Party. Beg your pardon. Jagath Karuna Ratne argues his party could ultimately make that difference. Well, let's find out now. Mr. Ratne, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, <clears throat> your party symbol is ban is banana, right? Now, why why choose banana as a party symbol? Well, um, when, we, when we were going around the country and when we were talking to especially the Toki community and uh, we could see how they could relate with the, the model that we are proposing. Uh, we have a three element model 
where we, we talk about a United Supreme Council, uh, United Business Council, and also United Council of Saints. So they could really identify and relate with the symbol, uh, with the history, the part of the history uh, where uh, they believe that uh, this uh, Pelosi Ranawai, the story and then the, 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 the stories behind, behind that. And also, if you look at even the, the Hindu uh, culture, they use the banana tree, for it's a sacred tree for them, and they use it for religious functions. So we, uh, as, a, as a party name uh, suggests and predicts, uh, we are trying to unite people, this unity and freedom. So it, it matches and it goes well with the party name as well. Now, now you, you're a Fijian citizen. Now what of Fiji's uh, uh, polit politics interest you and, and led you to, to stand in these elections? Well, I, I came to Fiji 14 years ago as a consultant uh, from IBM New Zealand. And then uh, I, was, I was in the project for about six months and then it went on. I worked for the company for three years. During the, this time, uh, I, I found the, the love of my life and who is my wife today. And in the process, like uh, I fell in love with the country and, and the people. So things led to one, one to another, and then I started working with the community, and I realized that there's something that I could do. Now, to a controversial issue now. Now, your party wants to establish a great council of chiefs, like structure, which will be called the United Council of Saints. That will include members of all religious groups. Something similar, you said, in the manifesto says, to Sri Lanka. Well, that, is, that was not exactly what I said as is something similar to Sri Lanka. What I said was there are certain elements that uh, we can take from Sri Lanka. But a United Council of Saints? Uh, that, is a, that is an element that is not really talking about the religious or principles of religion. That is trying to utilize the administration model behind the, the religious systems. Like if you look at the church, there's a beautiful administration be behind it. So what we are trying to do is to utilize that administration structure to reach out to people for welfare programs. So that is the focus behind behind the Council of Saints. So who will be in this great Council of Saints? It will have the religious leaders of many, all the, all the religions. Okay. So you have to bring, bring other races to be part of the great Council of Chiefs? No, no, we, this, we should not get confused with the great Council, Council of Chiefs. The, the United Supreme Council is mainly the traditional leaders, resource owners, and uh, national leaders who are apolitical. And then we have a uh, business council, United Business Council, where we are trying to bring the, the business entities, individuals who are uh, already in the business and investors. Mm -hmm. So with these two models, what we are trying to do is to get the resource owners to the, together with the investor to come up with the corporate structure. Mm -hmm. So that is the main, main model that we have. So where does that leave the Greek Council of Chiefs? That is something that I, I don't think I have the authority to talk, to talk about. Uh, if, if, if the Great Council of Chiefs has to come, then it will come uh, with, the, with, the, with the people's uh, choice. I mean, it is something that it has to be decided by the, the indigenous people. Okay. Now, your, your manifesto also is saying, if it forms government, it will provide uh, scholarships to all students whose parents can earn less than $16,000 a year when they finish the degree, when they will be, uh, will be provided with a job. Well, our manifesto, the detailed manifesto, has not been finalized yet. So what, what we have got from there, what we have got there is the, the things that, uh, that people have been talking in, candidates have been talking in, in, in campaign meetings. However, having said that, when we are talking about our model and that is an, an a corporate structure, there will be a segment, uh, a, a percentage of the profits that will be generated will be allocated for welfare. That is also includes that also includes the scholarships and educations and stuff like that. Apart from the the government assistance that is that that currently that we are having. What's your views of uh, uh, Fiji's uh, 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 land issues? The land issue and that's it, that comes with the model once again because the land is uh, is issue resource is one of the issues is one of the issues where uh, we we have certain conflicts. And when we talk about equality and many other things together with, with that, uh, this is where the main issue comes from. So that's why we are trying to bring unity by bringing in the, uh, the resource owners, landowners, mm. into a structure where people can work together rather than uh, you know, going against each other. Right. Now, uh, Luis from Valilev is on the line. Uh, Luis Mulevinaka, you can go ahead and ask uh, your question to our guest. Uh, Mulevinaka. 
Yeah, yeah Luis, your you question. More on your loan and what can you do? Your part regarding the that issues of the land of it. I think the caller is asking about the party logo. He, I think he wants, to, or he wants to know more about the party logo. The party logo, as I was explaining, uh, it is the, the banana tree with the banana in it. Uh, and this also relates with the, the history, part of the history of Fiji and, uh, and prophecies around it. And, and when we started talking to people, we, we felt that this, is, this could be one of the strongest uh, message that we can take to people because our model also relates with it. How many candidates, how many candidates will be uh, fielding? We will be deciding it, uh, it uh, tomorrow. Uh, we are having a meeting and then we'll be deciding how many. When people hear banana, they will associate that to, to, to Banana Republic. Is there any correlation with that? Well, um, well that, could, that could work that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, but as I explained, uh, that was the reason behind it. And it's, it's a sacred tree for Hindus and also other people relate with it. Do you have all confidence of winning this election? Pardon me? You, do you have confidence of winning this well, election? Well, we, our focus is to take this model to the grassroots people and, and the others and the traditional leaders and all that. That is our focus right now. And once it is there, if people want to take it to the parliament and then take it further from there, uh, that is why we have formed the party. And they can take it through from there. And the, uh, for the for 18 year olds out there, do you think you, you can uh, do well for them if you uh, go in? Well, as, as, I, as I suggest, I, as we are proposing in our structure, uh, that works uh, well for everyone. We believe that, that that will work very well for everyone, including youth, where they can even uh, they can um, get kind of scholarships or part-time work through the structure that we are proposing. Thank you. And that's all for tonight. T tune in again tomorrow to view the results of our poll. Remember, you can still text in your answers. The question line will be open until 6 tomorrow. Again, the question is, should the minimum wage be revised? Text in your answers to uh, yes or no to 3592. Join me again tomorrow as we continue our extensive coverage heading into the elections. Good evening.